Altair. It is good to see you, and in one piece. You as well, friend. I am sorry for your troubles. Think nothing of it. A few of your brothers were here earlier, in fact. Oof, if you'd heard the things they said, I'm certain you'd have slain them where they stood. It's quite all right. Yes, you've never been one for the creed, have you? Is that all? I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget myself. What business brings you to the Mass? A man named Tamir. Al Muallim takes issue with the work he does. I meant to end it. Now tell me where to find him. Surely you remember how to track an enemy. Of course. Learn where he will be and when. But that sort of work is best left for... I understand. Go and search the city. Determine what he's planning and where he works. Preparation makes the victor. What can you tell me of him? Tamir makes his living as a black market merchant, so the Souk district should be your destination. I would suggest you seek out the following places. A small souk northeast of here, the Madrasa to our east, and in the gardens north of this bureau. Focus on these places and he should become well known to you. I assume you want me to return to you when this is done? Yes. Come back to me. I'll give you Al Mualim's marker and you'll give us Tamir's life. As you wish. Remember, Altair, if you find yourself in trouble and the city turned against you, return to the Bureau. I can shelter you from the storm. Be warned, though. If your enemies are too close, my door will remain closed until you've lost them. Do you understand? Yes. To bring the enemy inside would compromise the Brotherhood. Very well. Off you go. man his food. And when the battle was finished, the Saracen leader saw to it that the merchant was repaid a thousand hey, times. Never seen someone do that before. Some say, were it not for Tamir, Salahadin's men would have surely turned on him. Could be we won the battle because of that man. to know quite a bit about Tamir. Tell me what he's planning. I know only the stories I tell, nothing more. A pity. There's no reason to let you live if you've nothing to offer in return. Wait, wait! There is one thing. Continue. He is preoccupied as of late. He oversees the production of many, many weapons. What of it? They're meant for Salah ad -Din. This does not help me, which means it does not help you. No, stop, listen! Not Salah Eddin. They're for someone else. The crests these arms bear, they are different, unfamiliar. It seems Tamir supports another, but I know not who. Is that all? Yes, yes. I've told you everything I know. Then it's time for you to rest. <laughs> Understand. Yes, I am to deliver the letter to your merchant friend. And you know who to see? The same man as always. Do not think to betray my presence in this city. We have many eyes, many ears. And many arms, yes. Good for silencing those who say too much. I know this well. You have my word. Good. Then be quick about it. Time is short. in all the land. I 
Many things, many things, too many things. You are wise, which is why you come to me. I'm telling you, it's rats. No, it's children. I hear them laughing. Rats or children. Either way, it's bad for business. All that noise! Someone needs to get up on those beams and clear them out. I wonder how they're getting up there. Must be through the central courtyard. Then we should ask the guard to have a look. Ah, they're all much too busy polishing the backside of their master. Altair, I need your help. I took something from one of Tamir's men, and now they're after me. Please, see me to safety, and I'll share it with you. You cannot win. For today only, I've decided to reduce prices on everything. Come, come. Did you not see me here? Yeah. Move! You save me, brother! You will not get away from me! We are safe now. I can manage on my own from here. Take this. Hopefully it will aid you in your mission. Seems to be an invitation of sorts. You want something? Strange, I've never seen someone do that before. Huh. Safety and peace, Altair. I trust you're looking for information to aid you in your strike against Tamir. I fear I've nothing to offer. But uh, Bahir might. He shouldn't be too far from here. Find it here. I'm sure of it. I have exactly what you need. So they've sent you, eh? An interesting choice, though not my place to judge. The Rafik has asked me to observe the souk that Tamir calls home. Here's what I have learned. 
there's a group of troublemakers who gather around its southeastern exit. They and the guards do not get along. Find a way to earn their friendship, and they'll surely be of service to you. Something needs to be done. It's only a matter of time before someone else discovers it. Tell him then, it's in his best interest to keep the souk secure. He won't meet with me. Too busy with this new deal of his. And the guards? Tried already. They won't lift a finger unless the order comes from him. Then what will you do? I'll go to Abu Nukut. The merchant king? <laughs> he won't see you. He doesn't have to. I've written him a letter that explains the problem. He can read it and decide for himself. Altair, welcome! Welcome! I've done what you asked. Now give me the marker. First things first. Tell me what you know. Tamir rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. Let Al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you are ready. to a more recent one. This is the excuse of a lazy or incompetent man. Which are you? Neither. What I see says otherwise. Now, tell me, what do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours? These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much, and the destination, it is a difficult route. Would that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses. I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I asked in the return was you fill the orders I bring you. And you say I ask too much? You dare. 
disrespect me. Peace, Tamir. I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No, stop. Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. Stop! You came into my souk, stood before my men, and dared to insult me? No. Leave the body. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Think twice before you tell me something cannot be done. Now get back to work. I don't understand what you do all day. Your stall is filled with goods. It should be your purse that's filled with coin. Why can't you sell these things? It isn't difficult. Perhaps you are not trying hard enough. Do you require motivation? Be at peace. You'll pay for this. You and all your kind. It seems you're the one pays now, my friend. You'll not profit from suffering any longer. You think me some petty death dealer, suckling at the breast of war? A strange target, don't you think? Why me, when so many others do the same? You believe yourself different, then? Oh, but I am. For I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit. Just like my brothers. Brothers? Ah, but he thinks I act alone. I am but a piece. A man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child. Victory, Altair. You have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to Al-Malim. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. 
Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. You've done well, Altair. And I'm confident that this is but the first of many successes. Tamir spoke as if he knew you well. He implied my work had a larger meaning. Significance comes not from a single act, but the context within which it is performed. The consequences born of it. Then is there more I need to know? Altair, your greatest failure was born of knowing too much. If I choose to withhold information, it is only to ensure you do not make the same mistake a second time. I see. No, you don't. And it will remain this way until you've learned your lesson. Still, you have performed competently. And as such, I restore a rank and will return a piece of your equipment. Go now, either to Akka or Jerusalem. There are men in both cities who require your attention. The Bureau leaders can tell you more about what needs to be done.